Kill Cat, back with another video. I was out drinking and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? At the bar. I'm pretty buzzed and faded right now, but I'm not super drunk. Just buzzed. But uh, let's get this straight, man. I'm going to get right to the fucking topic. Um, us guys under six feet, we got to do better, man. I'm seeing a whole lot of fucking average out here. You know, I was talking to a guy who worked at AutoZone. Not AutoZone. I think it was Pep Boys or something like that. And I was, he was like, uh, me and him was around the same height. Maybe he's a little bit shorter than me. And I was telling him, you know, my way of thinking. You know, I was explaining the reason why. You know, that uh, us guys under six feet tall have to work harder at life than um, guys who are over six feet tall, especially when it comes to poon. You know what I mean? When it comes to fucking getting pussy and shit like that, we have to work harder to get um, good looking females, basically, man. And I'm, that's just the way it is. That's the way life is. I know a lot of you guys ain't going to like what I'm saying. But I am being 100% truth out here. I'm not going to sit back and lie and sugarcoat shit. No. We, under six feet tall, have to make a lot more money than tall dudes. Dudes who are over six feet tall. We have to do better. You know. I, and I was telling that guy that I was talking to today. I was like, hey, man. You know, he's he was shorter than me. He was like five seven or whatever, and I'm five nine. And I was like, "Look, man, us guys under under six feet tall, we have to work harder at life." And you know, I made a few videos about that. You know, about a month ago, about how we have to work harder than anybody else because um, you could go through your whole entire life not getting the pussy that you want or you can work hard you know what i mean start making millions of dollars and get the pussy that you really desire it's gonna now it's gonna take a few you know um it's gonna take some hard work and like dedication and saying no to like distractions but you're gonna have to fucking like stay away from shit right now so you can get the shit later like staying away from pussy right now so you can get a better piece of poon later on you know what i mean now the the last video i made it was about getting lower caliber women you know you know uh what they call it uh, uh land whales fucking donkeys giraffes you know bitches who look like gorillas and shit like that like you know i was saying that shit uh because a lot of people out there don't, a lot of dudes don't, out there that don't have their shit together, that's what they're going to have to survive off of until they get their shit together. Then they start getting the better looking women. You know what I mean? Like I said before, man, I am not big tile. I'm not, you know, I'm going to talk about sex. I'm going to talk about motherfuckers getting good pussy. I'm going to talk about getting laid and all the other stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, first of all, I am not against the mix the MGTOW movement, but at the same time, man, I have my own philosophy, and that's the reason, reason why I don't, like, put MGTOW at the beginning of my titles, because I'm not MGTOW. MGTOW was something that I started off with, you know what I mean, I, and I didn't get a whole lot of subscribers off of it, and then broke off, you know what I mean, like a lot of dudes did, they got a whole lot of subscribers off of MGTOW, and then they, then they, then they broke off. And did did, did and then they did that look. And then they did their own thing and shit like that. But me, man, I never got over two thousand subscribers. So what I'm saying is right now is um, motherfuckers got to get their shit together and start making more money in their life so they can get a better piece of fucking poon. If we don't want to do that, man, then you know you know what? Just go ahead and complain about women all women the whole entire life. Because you don't want to do this your whole entire fucking goddamn life, man. You want to eventually graduate to some goddamn 
cook good poon in the next five to ten years. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys want to get good quality pussy. You know what I mean? If, you, if not, then you must be gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a gay motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So you have to think, you have to think, like, I am not going to fucking, like, sit here and let the bad boy or motherfuckers that's over six feet tall just take bitches left and right while I fuck here and sit here and starve and, 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 and get pussy starved. You know what I'm saying? That's what's basically, that's basically what a lot of dudes that are under like six feet tall, that's what we do. We get starved of pussy because there's not a whole lot of pussy to go around. First of all, dudes who are fucking short get the less pussy, get less pussy. You know what I mean? And the thing is, people tell me like, well, 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 Kel Cat, you're not short. You're like five, nine. That's a good, that's a good height. But you know what? To some of these shallow bitches. It is short. 5'9 is fucking short. 5'10 is fucking short to some of these shallow bitches out here. You know? And another thing, I want to talk about the gay, the, the, the fucking dating game. How shallow it is. Women are out here fucking just choosing and fucking just, just, just tossing motherfuckers away. You know? And, and, and acting like, you know, they the they 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 like queens and shit, you know what I mean? Like they they, they ain't got shit, you know, like they, they like like they fucking shit don't stink, you know what I mean? It's just like you as a male has to have to get your money together so you can be able to choose instead of fucking women choosing you, okay? You have to fucking get your fucking money together and your fucking finances together. You know what I mean? So women can do the fucking chasing instead of you chasing women. When you are broke and you ain't got no money, you ain't got your shit together, you are chasing women. When you are fucking making a whole lot of money and fucking getting your shit together, you got your shit together, you're making a whole lot of dough. You know what I mean? Then women are chasing you, okay? That's just the way life is. This is the way, the way of the fucking world. You know, some of these motherfuckers out here, they cry about women all day long, but they don't want to do anything to fucking enhance their life. They don't want to fucking um, um, get get better or get a better job or or, or, or come up in money or stuff like that. They don't want to do that. So they basically they're going to be 70 years old and be like, damn, I never got the, 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 the good piece of poon. I'm going to sit back here. I'm going to complain, complain some more. You're going to complain until you die. You know what I'm saying? You know, look, look at me wrong, man. I complained about women in my past. I complained about women. But as I start getting older and I start getting wiser and I start realizing that, hey, I have to get my shit together so I can get a piece of fucking poon. You know what? And you know what? I am a sex addict, okay? I love sex. I, I am a sexaholic. You know what I mean? I got to have sex on a regular fucking basis. That's just the way I am. I'm going to find a bitch or something to fuck after a certain time. It ain't going to be no fucking um, a land well or anything, but it's going to be something that's around a six, okay? If I ain't got a seven, I'm going to find me a six, or I'm going to call a bitch up, and I'm going to fuck the shit out of her if I ain't got nothing else. That's just the way it is. You know what I mean? She's going she's gonna to call me up, and I'm going to call her up. You know what I'm saying? When, when I ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? So you have to fucking think. In your, inside your brain, do you want to complain about women all the time, or do you want to get this puss? Do you want to get fucking pussy? You know what I mean? Motherfuckers got to get their finances together. You know what I'm saying? You know, some people are like, well, you know, women are always trying to use men for money. That's just the way it is, man. When women are, are hardwired to fucking look for the motherfuckers who making the most money. 
they're hardwired to get what they can want to get. You know, the fat bitches, they can get the, the, the motherfuckers who's working at Macy's. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But the motherfucker still bringing home some type of bread. He ain't, like, fucking broke. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they, they, they're looking for motherfuckers who's working a construction job. Or they're being, they're working, working Uber. You know what I mean? Making, like, 50000 a year, 60000 a year. But that's what all fat hogs can get. You know what I mean? These fat hubba bubba fucking land well bitches. That's all they can get is the motherfucker who makes about 60, 60 grand a year. You know what I'm saying? They're going to settle for that. Oh, well, I can't get the motherfucker who make 100000 a year. So I'm going to settle for the motherfucker who make 50000 That's just the way it is. Women who are like a certain caliber, like a woman, women who are fucking like like, 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 um, who are a low caliber, they're going to get the motherfuckers who make 50 or 60,000 a year. Higher caliber women who are fucking seven, eights, nines, they're going to get the motherfuckers who, 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 who who's going to make a uh, hundred thousand, 200,000, 300,000 a year. Uh, the dimes, they're going to get the motherfuckers who make a million dollars a year, who make a million dollars a year or more. Okay. That's just the way. It is. That's the way life is. You know what I mean? So, what I'm saying is, man, is that the more money you make, the better the bitch you're going to get. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, me, Kelcat, I talk about women on this channel, and this, these are fucking facts. You know what I mean? A lot of these dudes, they can sit back and they can, like, fucking, like, live in a false reality that women are going to come to them and you know, and, 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 you know, date them and shit like that. It, it, motherfucker, if you're not getting no pussy, if pussy ain't coming to you, then you gonna have to change something about yourself, okay? Change something about yourself. Get a six pack, buy, you know, body build, get, be, become more, you know, uh, valuable, you know, start making more money, you know what I mean? And things will start to come to you in your life. You know what I mean? You got to get on your motherfucking purpose, man. You know what I mean? And, and when you sit back and complain about it, okay, well, you know, you go ahead and keep complaining about women not coming your way. Because if women, women are not coming your way, you got to do something to change yourself. You know what? When I was fucking fat and out of shape, I didn't have a whole lot of women coming toward me, man. When I changed my ways... Now I'm getting pussy coming toward me, man. I got like women liking my arms and shit. Women are looking at me from a distance. I, I, I was checking a woman looking at me tonight from a distance. And I went over there and I, 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 I spit that game. You know what I mean? I went over there. I talked to her. She don't, she don't want to give me the number, but you could tell she was kind of interested because she was start, started to smile. You know, I made her fucking laugh and shit. You know what I mean? And she said, next time I see her, we're going to get a drink. Now, the thing is, I don't know if that's true. I don't care if it's not true. You know what I mean? I don't care if she's fucking, like, lying and shit. But you know what? She gave me some of her motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole entire time, I was looking at the motherfucking big-ass watermelon tits that she had. You know what I mean? She had a nice motherfucking ass that I like to motherfucking bite like a fucking pear. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, I am like I said, man, I'm a sex addict. I, I, I'm coming clean, man. You know what I mean? After all these years, you know, Kelcat is telling the truth. I love sex. I like to beat skins. I like to beat pussy. I like to beat fucking pussy until it until the bitch has half an orgasm. I think it was the other night I was beating some pussy, man, until the bitch came. She came on my dick twice. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, bang, 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 bang. Because, you know, I've been in the gym and I'm feeling, I'm strong and shit. So I'm hitting that bang. I'm hitting that pussy from the front. The bitch came twice. Okay? She clenched onto my motherfucking biceps and my shoulders and shit while I was, while I was beating that shit. And she came all over that motherfucking chocolate dick. <laughs> I'm out, man. I'm out. You guys have a good day. Subscribe. Leave a comment.